Hi, and welcome back to the Be Energy Aware podcast. I'm your host, Brand Katanik. Let's keep in touch on Instagram at Be Energy Aware or through our website, BeEnergyAware.com. If you like this podcast, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Thank you so much. Empowered by being aware of energy in day to day life, making empowering decisions and thriving, consciously creating with the help of meditation, self healing, creativity, and expression. Being aware of our emotional and mental energy, as well as the energy that surrounds us in our day-to-day -day life, enables us to make empowering decisions. Using our intuition and trusting ourselves when making those decisions help us to create a much better life. It's about empowerment and thriving. And so again, what do I mean when I say being aware of energy? For those who are tuning in for the first time, there's the energy of our thoughts and the energy of our emotions. And there's also the energy of our environment. We need to be aware of what energy we bring and what kind of energy surrounds us. And then we need to know how to best deal with both. We also need to know how to use all that to heal ourselves so that we can function at our optimum and live the best life possible. And that's why on this podcast, we talk about meditation, self-healing, creativity, and expression, all of which deepen our awareness and bring about a profound healing. Now on to today's theme. Instead of saying that you should develop good habits, why not ask, how do I become inspired to develop good habits? Inspired instead of motivated. If we're just motivated, that means that we understand that it would be a good thing to do. But to be inspired is something totally different. If you're inspired to do something, you do not have to make yourself do anything. You just do it. So why would we become inspired? What's the reason? For me, it's because I know and understand that developing good habits is going to bring me higher possibilities. I just like being in the energy of those higher possibilities and I love being open to them. I also very much enjoy the feeling of being in the creative zone knowing that I'm creating something better for myself. Developing good habits takes time, and so the reward does not come right away. And that's why a lot of people normally settle for something far less than what they would get if they were just a little bit more patient. Patience comes from understanding what the reward is and how to get it. It all comes down to sitting down with yourself for a chat with yourself and making a few good decisions. Do you think you can do that for yourself? Let me know. Message me on Instagram at BeEnergyAware or leave a comment. You can also get in touch through our website, BeEnergyAware.com. And leaving a review on Apple Podcasts is always so much appreciated as well as sharing this podcast with your friends. And if you need help with developing good habits, then get my audiobook, Get Empowered, or sign up for my mentorship. Until next time, take good care.